हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रूफ ऑफ को चैनल फ्रीक्वेंसी रियूज रेशियो दैट इज क्यू इज इक्वल टू डी बाई आर इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री एन सो टू प्रूव दिस थिंग फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कंसिडर द हेक्सागोनल जियोमेट्री सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव द रेंडम नंबर ऑफ हेक्सागोनल सेल्स and let's say we want to find out the co cell of this particular cell in order to find out the co cell of this cell first we have to move on the i axis that is with respect to this axis this angle will be a 30 degree so let's move one and let's say two so on i axis we are moving uh, two times and then from this point we have to move counter clockwise and this angle will be of course a uh, 60 degree and uh, if you will move a uh, one times over here so this will be our co cell so these two are known as a co cell and we want to find out the reuse ratio distance between these two co cells and if you will put the value of i and j in this equation you will get that we have a cluster size equal to 7 because we have i is equal to 2 and this j is equal to 1 so uh, 2 square is 4 4 plus again 2 so 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7 so we have a cluster size is equal to 7 and one more thing the center distance between the two cell is given by 2r cos 30 where this r is a radius of a one cell so you can understand that if this angle is 30 degree then the distance between the two center cell will be 2r cos 30 so now let's find out this distance d and frequency reuse ratio so now from this triangle you can see that we will have this kind of triangle if you will apply a cosine rule over here which will be a, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a so a is this angle so in our case if this is the 60 degree so of course this will be a 120 degree so in our case a will be a 120 degree and a square that, that means this particular side so here we will have a d square and instead of b square we will consider this distance and for c square we will consider the this distance and now we have all the values and if you will focus on this distance it is 2r cos 30 so we can define this as small d and small d will be equal to 2r cos 30 which is 2 times r into square root of 3 by 2 because cos 30 is square root of 3 by 2 this 2 and 2 will get cancel and we will have a d that is this distance or the distance between two center cell is square root of 3r now let's put all this value in this equation so you can see that we have d square so instead of a square here we will have the d square into i d square now why we have consider i d because let's say on this i axis you are moving from 1 and 2 so you are moving two times so here we will have i equal to 2 but right now we are proving in a general manner so i will consider that i multiply by d so we have to consider this d i times so i d whole square plus similarly for this so instead of this c square we will consider j times d square so j multiply by d whole square minus 2 bc so again b means i into d and c means j into d and as i told you this angle is 120 degree so we have cos 120 now it is very easy to find out the value of d you can write this equation in this way d square is equal to i square d square plus j square d square minus 2 ij d square into cos 120 we can take d square as common so if we will take d square as common we will remain with this value and the value of cos 120 is minus 1/2 so this 2 and 2 will get cancel and this minus and minus will become plus 
so we will have d square is equal to small d square into i square plus ij plus j square now we can put the value of this d in this equation so if you will substitute the value of small d into this equation we will have d square is equal to 3r square into i square plus ij plus j square so now here we know that i square plus ij plus j square is n therefore we will put n instead of this equation so here we will have n now we can take square root at both side so we will have d is equal to square root of 3n into r and that's how we can prove that frequency reuse ratio q equal to d by r equal to square root of 3n so i hope this information is helpful to you please give your feedback in the comment and if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe it now and thank you so much for watching this video